Can you hear those painful cries? That is Mother Earth crying. Today our mother, our Earth, is wounded and helpless. The same Earth who gifted us with the wealth of flora and fauna in abundance. The one who gave birth to us humans has been ravaged and plundered. That very race of men which she brought into existence has reduced her and the entire human race to a pathetic state. All of this in the name of progress. Do you care for her and for yourself? Do you hear that not so distant warning of climate change and environmental disaster? Today climate change or global warming is the biggest threat to the earth. And please remember, climate change is anthropogenic, which means only man is responsible for this. The sea levels will be rising from 18 centimeters to 55 centimeters in the coming century. Arctic warming may wipe out endangered marine species and cause unwarranted floods and droughts. Global carbon dioxide emissions were growing by 1.1% each year from 1990 to 99. This has now accelerated to 3.5% per year since 2000 to 2007. Climate change would affect food production in predominantly agrarian economies like India. Each one of us should do something to overcome the imminent problem of climate change and prioritize above everything else to contribute to this global cause. RCF Limited is a marvelous example of how an industry could strive to fight against climate change. The RCF Trombe factory is a sprawling complex of 21 plants producing 1 million tons of fertilizers like Sufala 151515 and Sufla 2020-0 along with a number of other chemical plants. The factory is located in the heart of the city of Mumbai and has managed to keep the environment clean and healthy in surrounding areas. This itself demonstrates the company's commitment towards the environment and their concern about the neighborhood. I am Dr. Dilip Kamath. I am a general practitioner practicing in Chembur since 1973. At that time, we used to get a lot of cases of asthmatic bronchitis, allergic rhinitis, sneezing and all that. So, that was all blamed to the RCF because RCF was going on with a full swing at that time. Of course, at that time, number of other chemical factories were also present in Chembur. But since then, RCF has poured a lot of money on this environmental project. So, practically, nowadays you don't see any cases of asthmatic bronchitis, sneezing and all that. I think whole credit should go to RCF. RCF has so far spent 500 crore rupees in order to revamp vintage plants and adopt more environment friendly measures in the industry. RCF has modernized its ammonia 1, nitric acid, ammonia 5, concentrated nitric acid, methanol and ANP plants. This enables the operations to meet the technological challenges for efficient energy consumption and to comply with better environment norms. To bring down carbon dioxide emissions considerably and in turn earn carbon credits, RCF has introduced CDM, Clean Development Mechanism. Here, you know, we have around two nitrogen plants which are emitting around uh, one million uh, carbon credits in the atmosphere in the form of nitrogen dioxide. Plastic Chemicals and Fertilizer is one of the first company in the country to adopt this uh, CDM project and already last three months we are acquiring the carbon credit for our country. Annually around 1 million tons of CO2 emission is reduced in the atmosphere by which RCF is going to earn around 1 billion rupees. Today water has become a precious commodity in the modern world. Overpopulated cities like Mumbai face a drastic shortage of water. 
Hence, it is necessary to save as much water as possible. RCF has set up a sewage treatment plant which is one of its kind in the country. The plant treats sewage of Mumbai city which otherwise would have drained into the sea creating hazards to the ocean's environment. The sewage treatment plant generates 5 million gallons of pure water each day, in turn saving an equivalent amount of portable water for the city of Mumbai. Recycle and reuse of resources has been the basic philosophy of RCF. The company has also set up a unit for purification of chalk and has recently set up a rapid wall plant for value addition and recycle of its industrial byproduct gypsum. Rapid wall panels are made from gypsum, glass rowing and a variety of polymers that provide strength to these walls. Rapid wall is the best answer to the emerging concern of affordable housing. The houses made from these panels are environment friendly, earthquake resistant, fast in construction and affordable in price. These are set to bring a revolution in the construction industry. Chambur Green Project A unique tree plantation drive in Chambur was launched 35 years ago by RCF. It has helped to turn Chambur into a dense green suburb of Mumbai. The increasing real estate prices are an indicator of how Chambur is rated as one of the best places to reside in Mumbai. I am staying in Chambur in 1937. That day people were saying that there is a pollution, high pollution in Chambur. You don't be a Bangalore at Chambur, take place in the other because there is no pollution. But RCF has made so much efforts to reduce the pollution and they have planted so many trees and made so many efforts to reduce the pollution. That's why I think so. There is no pollution in Chambur now and people are coming to stay in Chambur and they prefer Chambur as a very good place. People is to call Chambur as a gas chamber but RCF took lead and uh, took several uh, measures to control pollution. Uh, the effect is a scene. This is uh, almost no pollution in the Chambur. Now the great uh, demand for housing in a chamber area. RCF has always maintained a complete transparency in maintaining environment-related information through its dedicated, continuous ambient air monitoring systems at Trombay and Thal. The company displays real-time emission levels through illuminated boards placed at the entrance of the factory for public viewing. No wonder that the company is maintaining its ISO 14000 accreditation for environment since a decade. Environment at RCF Thal is evident from its lush green ambience and a staggeringly high biodiversity of over 54%. All of this could be achieved due to the company's commitment as well as conscious and concerted efforts towards environment protection. At Thal, RCF has installed condensate strippers, purge gas recovery systems, medium and low pressure scrubbers, deep hydrolyzer, wastewater treatment sections and centralized effluent treatment plant. Through these efforts, RCF controls quantity and concentration of pollutants in the treated water and air comparable to the best in the world. The company has switched over to eco-friendly cooling water treatment system for all its cooling towers, both at Trombe and Thal, thereby minimizing use of chlorine and toxic chromates. The Thal unit is the first in the country to discharge treated effluents by means of a deep sea marine outfall. A serene lake within Thal complex 
is a real example of the plant's eco-friendly nature. Birds of various species enjoy the clean environment. A unique example of clean healthy environment at RCF Thal is a falcon who nested at a height of 90 meters on the ammonia tower. It gave birth and reared its young ones. This miracle can happen only in a clean and healthy environment. RCF's marketing division has made phenomenal contribution to meet the climate change problem. They have enriched the farmers with modern agro-technology by setting up two farmer training institutes at Thal and Nagpur that will help farmers save soil and water yet get bumper crops. They also educate farmers on the balanced use of fertilizers through field visits, crop demonstration and field meetings to aid in better farming techniques and improve the farm productivity. The marketing division has established six static soil testing labs along with mobile soil testing vans. In 40 years, soil samples to the tune of 50 lakhs have been analyzed in these labs and that too free of cost. This has helped farmers to go for balanced use of fertilizers and maintain soil fertility. The excess irrigation makes soil saline and unproductive. RCF's new high-tech 100% water-soluble fertilizer, Sujala, is widely used through drip and foliar applications which promote the adequate water usage in modern agriculture, thus saving nearly a billion liters of water. RCF's biofertilizer Biola and liquid micronutrient Microla have proven to be the boon to maintain soil fertility, thus saving millions of acres of agriculture land from getting unproductive. RCF's high-tech fertilizer product mix is helping to restore the natural resources like soil and water. It must have saved millions of acres of agricultural land and billions of gallons of water from being wasted. RCF has neatly blended the power of science and technology with the human element to constantly improve what is essential to human progress. No wonder the company is maintaining its ISO 14000 accreditation for the environment since a decade. This is evident in the fact that RCF has been recently awarded with an ISO 14001 accreditation for the environment. RCF has been selected amongst the top 10 public sector units for MOU Excellence Award for 2005-06. RCF's turnover is increasing in leaps and bounds. In 2008-09, it had crossed 8,500 crore rupees. Dedication to excellence and expertise has helped RCF to build lifelong values and healthy relations with the society. RCF is determined to uphold the responsibility of passing nature's greatest wealth to the future generations. A green and healthy environment.